All right, here's my top seven boots that I can't imagine never owning. This is a saddle albino colored Paracou Big Bass from Tony Llama. It's a very soft skin and incredibly comfortable, but very rare. If I was gonna stand at an altar, I'd be wearing these boots. These are the Ariat Fraturities. I just got these this year, but they're incredibly comfortable. They infuse this foam padding on the inside that makes these boots like walking in sneakers. They've got the spur shelf and that narrow square toe, so you're not gonna get hung up in the stirrups. I'll be making this my new riding boot. These are the Tacova Zanes with the zip up. They get the most hate, but they're incredibly comfortable straight out of the box, and they stay that way for the life of the boot. I grab these if I have to go somewhere quicker than I will a pair of sneakers. These are the Deacons by Ruho Boots. It's a chocolate colored full cool ostrich. These boots are the perfect example of a modern day company, keeping it traditional. They're incredibly comfortable. And if I have to hit the town, this is my first choice. These are the Warhawks by Tin Hall. If you've never had any of these nylon bottom boots, they're incredibly weird, but they perform like nothing else out there. Definitely something you want to add to your collection. These are the Malcolms by Lucchese. They're a giant gator boot. And if you're gonna have a giant gator, might as well be Lucchese. These boots have really held up to the name and molded to my foot very well. They're incredibly comfortable. And if you really want the top of the line exotic that's gonna hold up, this is the way to go. Last but not least, these are a Dan Post Full Coil Ostrich. My grandmother bought these boots for me when I was a kid and they've held up for over 14 years. These are a traditional as traditional gets and I wish they still made boots like this. Well, there you go. If I could only keep seven boots in my entire boot collection, this is what it'd be.